Welcome to Listen and Practice. Our text for today is about birthday parties. These lessons are designed to help you practice listening, speaking, reading, and writing. You may choose one or all of the activities below. Number one, listen to and practice the text at least three times. Each time you should aim to read the words accurately and faster. This should help you to focus on building fluency. Number two, provide an oral response to the questions. This should help you to focus on speaking, vocabulary, and your grammar structure. Number three, provide a written response to the questions. This should help you to focus on your grammar structure. Now, let's take a look at our text. It's my party and I'll pay if I want to. Why is hosting an expensive birthday celebration so important to some people? Another year of life can be a sufficient reason to host a gathering. However, there are those who completely redefine the idea of a birthday celebration and venture beyond the shore of any kind of budget to plan that very expensive and extravagant event. It could be that some people equate the special day with the word expensive and so aim to live up to that standard. Others disagree and equate that special day with cheaper and more commendable ways to express appreciation without splurging hundreds, thousands, or even millions of dollars. There are some supporters in favor of planning expensive birthday parties who suggest budgets shouldn't matter, especially if you're in a financial position to make greater things happen. These individuals firmly believe that people are entitled to use their funds as they see fit and should not be condemned for doing so. On the other side, rest frugal critics who suggest that expensive extravagant birthday parties are pointless, especially for younger children who may not even remember these parties years from now. Nonetheless, both opponents and critics can agree on at least one thing. People are responsible for their own money. Despite conflicting views, it is certain that people will spend whatever amount they deem or feel is necessary to celebrate that special birthday. Therefore, people shouldn't be surprised if they hear about expensive birthday parties that provide unlimited choices of chocolate desserts and buffet options, new cars as gifts, or celebrities or exotic animals as a form of entertainment. Critics may consider such a financial charge as a demonstration of poor financial stewardship. Others will agree that spending thousands of dollars on a single day, other than on a wedding or on some sort of community event, is completely unnecessary or simply an attempt to satisfy exorbitant indulgences. Proponents could very well take a creative stance if they change a few words to Leslie Galore's popular song and assert, it's my party and I'll pay if I want to. Unless both sides find a happy medium, people shouldn't expect to put to rest this debate anytime soon. Pause the video now if you would like to review this text on your own. Answer the following questions. Number one, do you celebrate birthdays? If so, how do you celebrate them? Number two, do you prefer small birthday celebrations or big birthday celebrations? Why? Number three, do you think spending thousands of dollars on a children's birthday party is pointless? Why or why not? Number four, in 12 words or less, or in one sentence, state what this text passage is mainly about. Number five, what argument can you provide to support the critic's position? Number six, what argument can you provide to undermine the critic's position? 
Number seven, what argument can you provide to support the proponent's position? Number eight, what argument can you provide to undermine the proponent's position? Number nine, use the letters in the word birthday to make new words. How many words can you make? Thank you for watching. Subscribe to our channel.